welcome back on this lovely Monday. Hopefully everybody had a great weekend. Hopefully everybody's ready to rock and roll. Get ready for a new great uh, new week starting fresh. Good to see you, Phil. Grant, good to see you. Jeff, John, everybody. All right, good. So uh, let's go over a couple of things really quick. First of all, I, I, you know, I want to start off in talking about um, what the hell's going on in Dominican Republic. Uh, I mean, people are getting poison and killed there now you're hearing uh the famous baseball player ortiz getting shot there i mean i just came there for my vacation actually and it's just like my thing is this now thinking as a trader um is there any companies out there that we could short i mean because i don't know if anyone's ever gonna go back to the Dominican republic i feel bad for that country you know when you get bad publicity like that you know their their big business is tourism and um i mean i know they got great baseball players but if there's a stock out there, I mean, you might have to, uh, you know, they, they're obviously not looking too good over there. You know, I don't know if they have a, their own ETF or something like that, but what is what it is. Yeah, he was shot. That's just terrible. I mean, right from the back, I just saw a video on that. And you hear about all these people that were getting, you know, poisoned and killed and beaten there. I mean, it's, I don't know what the hell's going on in Dominican Republic, but, you know, if there's a stock out there, it's not going to do too well. But um, but also other big the real big news also going into this week is um, and, and I'm kind of a little disappointed because I thought it was going to be a little bit better. But we obviously know that uh, Mexico basically uh, folded and they're going to stop a lot of this illegal uh, crossings. And that obviously made the market make a nice little uh, a nice little uh, 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 rally in the market a little bit. I thought it was going to be a little bit better than that. I was like, I'm a little disappointed. You know, as a trader, I thought that that would kind of help out a little bit more. But at the end of the day, I mean, listen, that's what you learn as a trader. You see what's going on. You see how things benefit. But I think a lot has to do with uh, the feds maybe lowering rates. And, and and remember I told you a long time ago when I talked about the rates, I said, you know what? It's kind of healthy for the market, you know, for something like that to happen. Because when you're already at zero, you can't, you, you know, the government can't be paying you money. You know, it's it's at it's zero zero. So raising it is good for a case of an emergency, and you know, and they're using it. So anyway, we got that little benefit right there. So a lot of news over the weekend, but uh, but let's uh, let's get right into see what's going on. The uh, talk about what happened yesterday, I mean on Friday, and then let's go talk about some stocks that move. First of all, what the hell's going on with Beyond Meats? Holy cow, this thing just won't stop. It is just one animal, and you know what? It's spilling into today. B Y uh, B Y N D. Let me just bring that up over here. The B Y N D. This thing has just been, you know, ever since it went public at fifty dollars. I mean, this has got to be one of the best performers uh, in a long time. The company's doing great. I know a lot. A lot of you guys uh, traded on Friday, did very, very well. I know a lot of you wish you could trade it, but you know, it's okay. Listen, there's a lot of the stocks out there you could afford. You're gonna go out there, you know. Listen, there, there, there's there's these stocks out every day that trade like this. But uh, I know they had an uh, they had record earnings and stock is just Killing it, you know, doing great. So um, it's not only been a great day trade, but it's been a phenomenal, phenomenal swing trade. But once again, you got to be careful with it. Unless you got deep pockets, you could trade it. Um, you got to be an advanced trader. There's a lot of out there that also move. Another stock that took off pretty nicely is the the RVLV stock. That was that other IPO, which is actually picking up again too. Another one that's also uh, upticking right now. Be, be very careful with it. Once again, IPOs, very volatile, very risky, big spreads. Can't trade a lot of it. Another one you want to be careful. Uh, the one that's also coming in today is the is the TRLY. Now, the pot stocks, I don't know what's going on, but they're obviously... Oops, spelled it wrong. Hold on. T-L-R-Y. It had a really nice move on Friday. Uh, you guys remember this stock? We, we this is the stock that we traded last year. We killed it. it went from like forty to three hundred, and uh, look where it ended up. But it's, got, it's making a nice little nice little push right here. Listen, the stock was at thirty five just two days ago. Look, it's already up about t over twelve dollars. She's backing off. Extremely volatile. Be very very carefully careful of it. But she is also going back on the watch list today. Uh, really nice moves there. You can see it had some nasty shakes, but she got the pretty damn big today uh, this morning. Another one, the LJPC. That was uh, also from Thursday and it continued a little bit on Friday. But you can see the stock, $6 stock, went all the way to 14 Nasty shakes, though, but she was a fun stock to trade. 
A lot of you guys did really well on it. And once again, that's why we're here, right? Have fun. Anyway, a couple other things we want to talk about uh, that's also moving. One of the big movers this morning that's moving is this. Uh, you can see it's the biggest percentage gainer right there, the PRVB. The stock is, um, you know, she gapped up pretty big this morning. She's up 168%. It was at four dollars and thirty-eight cents closed on Friday. Right now, it's almost at twelve, almost a triple. Uh, I don't know what happened. It was really nice this morning when we watched it earlier. A lot of a, a lot of us watched it. Uh, we you, some of you logged in with me around um, what time we were now? Like seven forty-five, and uh, she moved pretty nicely. But now she's you know she's holding pretty strong here. And you know I'm looking at my uh, level four platform over here and there's a major resistance levels where it hit right around 12 big 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 seller and he's still out there actually and uh once it hit that big seller at 12 and we all know about the number 12 right you know don't buy and sell things that end in zeros and fives or you know long short either one of them but there was a really big seller out there and it was out there for a while and she just came back in again that big seller so and he's actually at 12. He's at 11.98. That's what I'm seeing on my order. You're not seeing it over here. Oh, well, actually, you are seeing it right here. He's out there. You can see on level two. But uh, but if it breaks that, it looks like it could break out. But you know that that's I see I see a big order on another platform actually. But uh, that one's moving pretty nicely. TLRY. Another one that we're gonna put on a watch list this morning. We're gonna keep an eye on in pre-market. That's moving is the is the TEUM. There we go. Uh, T-U-M, that one also coming up there. We go. All right. So this one's gapping up from, uh, took a huge hit on Friday. You could see things just literally fell off the cliff, uh, like within a couple of days, went from five to two, you know, it's, it's probably, uh, you're probably getting a little bit of a dead cat bounce over here. Stock trades, a lot of good shares, got good spread, everything we're looking for. I could see, I, um, I'm looking at my, on my platform here, big, big resistance levels. Right around 320, you even got, you know, you can see his 15,000 shares, 18,000 share sellers here everywhere. Stock trades a lot of volume. So, you know, if you're an advanced trader, you could trade a lot of shares. If you're a beginner, this could be right up your alley. You don't know what it's like to be in and out of positions. Uh, what else we got? The the NB, the NBY is also moving. That one up nicely. Come up. There we go. Stock's up 242%. Stock. Another one got crushed, uh, but she's gapping up pretty nicely. I don't know what this is all about. This is a pretty hill, nasty little drop over here. I don't know if these are some late prints, but um, stock is moving really, really nicely. Good move, good spread, everything we're looking for. Pharmaceutical stock. I don't know, maybe they came out to cure for cancer. I don't know what the news is, but that stock is obviously doing pretty well. Another one, um, which has been a great swing trade, and not only as a day trade, but AMD has been killing it. Right, AMD. I mean, it built some major support levels right around 26. It's at 33, they hit 34. Uh, testing major resistance though, back of uh, back in late October. You could see it did fall out of bed at 32, went down to around 17. But she, last couple of days, she's been doing great. If she breaks through that major resistance levels, you could see the stock really take off. But just be very careful, guys. You know, we trade this on Friday. Stock is a very volatile stock. Uh, any brand name stock is nothing for beginner traders, so stay away from it. They do have some nasty shakes. All right, all right. Anything else that were, that I'm missing that I not call I did not call out? Amazon is selling is now and and no need to prescription use for dry these. Oh well, well, thanks for sharing that. That's nice, Deb. Good. Yeah, you know what? I saw the GameStop uh, also, Lee, and you know, GameStop is gapping up a little bit. You know, listen, we could day trade it, uh, but do not hold this stock at all. Not at all. I mean, I'm not, this stock is just not doing well. Uh, you know, it's a great short, but uh, it's gapped up a little bit this morning. Maybe there's some bottom fishing. Maybe the CEOs are averaging down. I don't know what it may be, but just do not swing trade the stock. Be very, very careful. Nancy also says the RVLV. Yeah, well, well, it it is moving. Like I said, that is that is on my watch list. I do have it on the watch list. Any word on when we'll get a workshop of Bookmap, uh, Brian? That's a great question. And actually, we're working on it. We 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 spoke to Bookmap. I actually have a meeting with them 
Uh, they're flying in from London on uh, Wednesday, so I'll be meeting them on Wednesday. But yes, we are going to be having a uh, a workshop on that platform. I think in within the next week or so. So that's already taken care of. That's already in the works. All right, no problem. All right, guys. So listen, good luck, everybody. Happy trading. It's Monday. We know Mondays is not Hump Day, so people still. Uh, it was a gorgeous day here uh, over the weekend in New York. So a lot of people probably hung over coming in this morning. I don't think I don't expect it to be an exciting one. Uh, coming into this morning, but just be very careful. We'll always find some new stocks. And most importantly, we have a lot of new members that are joining and starting today. Let's, uh, let's give them a nice little welcome, round of applause. Congratulations. They ready to start changing your life for the better. Just sit back and look, listen, and learn, everybody. All right. If you're new here to Cyber University, starting on Monday, just make sure you talk to Education Advisor, watch those videos. And uh, what you're about to learn is everything you've been doing is completely opposite what you should be doing. And, and you know what? That's a good thing because you know you want to do this. So let's do it right the first time. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Be back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting.